Well, he has dominated the world of wrestling, but now our next guest battle is out of the ring, and it's all about making things positive, and he's got a lot of success doing it. Author of the book, How to Be the Happiest Person on the Planet, former WWF wrestler, turn the happiest person I know, and good friend, Mr. Mark Miro. Thanks, Hello, buddy. Andy and I, Andy actually came up and goes, you know, Mark is just one of those guys, you just know he's happy just by looking at him. And you know, you always got that smile on your face. <laughs> I either think you're up to something or you're happy, and I think it's the latter. Your book, How to Be the Happiest Person on the Planet, what's it about, man? Well, you know, Mitch, uh, I, I think through adversity we become a champion. And unfortunately, because of the losses in my life, you know, it's like one of those things where you either get bu busy living or you get busy dying. Right. And uh, I lost uh, my mother, father, brother, sister, over 30 friends, drug overdose, suicide, murder. And I've been through so much in my life. And I, I got to a place in my life where I really realized that we all have a purpose and I wanted to make a difference. And I started utilizing uh, my own celebrity status from professional wrestling to speak at schools, churches, and corporations all over the United States, all over the world now. We went to Russia and spoke over there, yeah. but it's been incredible. Uh, I often tell people, if you want to be happy, help someone else become happy, because the more I give in life, the more I get back. Yeah, you forget about your own problems when you're helping somebody else, right? You do, but you know, it's not so much about the circumstance or situation, it's how we respond to it, and it's all about the response to situations. And I really got sick and tired of always going back to someone and saying, hey, I'm sorry for talking that way or swearing or whatever it would be. And uh, so I started responding to things differently and, and taking a deep breath when you face adversity in life. So you would say that would be uh, the, the biggest pivotal thing from you changing your, your life around, kind of getting it uh, into a direction that's gonna make you feel happy all the time. Would you say that? Well, I, the ultimate change in life was obviously my faith in God, but I, you know, I, it, it manifests itself in wanting to make a difference in this world. And um, you know, I've spoken over uh, 400 presentations at middle schools and high yeah. schools around the country, and uh, it's uh, it's it's amazing because you know we we talk to students about um, suicide prevention, um, setting goals, taking action towards their goals, and of course our the hot topic we have now is obviously uh, our anti-bullying message that we're spreading across the country. Yeah, you saw that video earlier here. Oh, uh, the, broke my heart. Yeah, oh, you know, man. Yeah. And, and, and I could feel that just talking to you about it, and you know, I think that these are the kids you're reaching out to absolutely. right and, and and this and what, what kind of response are you getting well you know Mitch it's absolutely been cr incredible you know I recently just did a, a middle school uh, it was one of the last days of school and a, a student told me that during my presentation she was passing no there's 1500 kids in this presentation right, right. and she was passing note that from the girl that's been bullying her every day and said I am so sorry for what I've done to you can we be friends things like that but I also received a letter from a, a young lady right over here at the Lake Howell High School who said, Mark, the day you came to my presentation was the day I planned on taking my life. She already had her suicide note written. She had no idea she was even gonna be in a president, uh, that there was an assembly yeah. that day. And uh, I actually talked to, you know, the, the school counselors got her into, got her help. And she wrote me a letter from her, from her psychologist that said, Mark, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Thank you for saving my life. That's what motivates that's what me. Makes, that's why it gets you yeah, up in the morning and, and gets you going. Your book is available. They can go to your website to purchase it. And if people want to actually have you come to your kids' schools or any kind of organization. Oh, um, just go to our website, thinkpoz.org, thinkpoz.org. And uh, we are, we're going all over the country. Um, it's uh, amazing. Yeah. Atlanta, New York. Uh, we're going over to our Tampa awesome. schools. It's Mark, and we'll have a link on our website. Find out more about Mark's book or how you can have Mark visit your school. Head to our website, dailybuzznation.com. Thank you, Mark.